Hey everyone, this video gives step-by-step -step instructions for how to set up the Coral USB Accelerator on the Raspberry Pi for blazing fast object detection on a live video feed. The Coral USB Accelerator is a hardware accessory designed by Google that significantly speeds up TensorFlow light models. It uses a custom, highly parallelized processor called the Edge TPU, which is able to process deep learning neural networks much faster than a CPU or even a GPU. This video is a follow-on to my previous video showing how to set up TensorFlow Lite on the Pi. Before you start the instructions in this video, make sure you've completed my previous one, which is linked in the description below. At this point, you should have made a TF Lite 1 folder with all the files from my GitHub repository, created a virtual environment for running TensorFlow Lite, downloaded all the necessary Python libraries, and set up a model folder to use for detection. You should be able to run the TF Lite detection image script and have a labeled picture of cows appear. If you're not there yet, go back and work through my previous video. This video follows the instructions from my written GitHub guide, which is linked in the video description below. If you get any errors while following these instructions, you can check the appendix of the guide, which lists common errors and their solutions. You can also Google search for the error, ask about it in the comments, or tweet me at Edge Electronics on Twitter. I usually respond fastest on Twitter. Okay, let's get to it. First, open a terminal. Move into the TF Lite 1 directory, and then activate the TF Lite 1 virtual environment by issuing source TF Lite 1 m slash bind slash activate. To run the accelerator, we need to install the Edge TPU runtime from Google's package repository. There's a couple long commands that will add the repository to the Pi's list of package sources. I included these commands in the video description below so you don't have to type them out. Go ahead and scroll down and copy each command, paste them into the terminal, and press enter. Then issue sudo apt-git update. This will download the Google package repository. Before we install the runtime library, make sure the USB accelerator is not plugged into the Raspberry Pi. We'll plug it in after installing the library. Install the runtime by issuing sudo apt-git install libedgetpu1-std. This installs the Edge TPU runtime library. Google also offers a runtime which runs the USB accelerator at an overclocked frequency, allowing it to achieve even faster frame rates. However, it also causes the USB accelerator to get hotter. Here's a comparison of frame weights I get when running the standard and max runtime on a 640x480 resolution webcam. I also used a thermal camera to measure the accelerator's temperature for both cases. I get about 32 FPS and 34 degrees Celsius running the standard option, and 37 FPS and 39 degrees C running the max option. The elevated temperature is well within safe limits, but I recommend using the standard option unless you really need the extra frame rate. If you want to run the max library, issue sudo apt-git install libedgetpu1-max. When it gives you a warning about elevated temperatures, arrow down and press enter. You can't have both runtimes installed at the same time. Installing the max runtime will automatically uninstall the standard runtime and vice versa. For this video, I'm going to switch back to using the standard runtime. Okay, now that the runtime is installed, we need to set up an Edge TPU model to use it with. Edge TPU models are TensorFlow Lite models that have been compiled specifically to run on Edge TPU devices like the Coral USB Accelerator. They reside in a .tf Lite file and are used the same way as a regular TF Lite model. Google provides a sample Edge TPU model that's compiled from the quantized SSD Lite mobile net model we used in the previous video. The command for downloading the model is given in the video description below. Copy the command, paste it into the terminal, and press enter. Then type mv mobile net, then press tab to complete the file path, then type sample tf Lite model slash edge tpu.tf light. This moves the model into the sample tf light model folder and renames it to edge tpu.tf light. 
You can also compile your own custom TF Lite detection model for the Edge TPU. It doesn't take long, but you need to use a Linux PC to run the compiler. My next video in this series, How to Compile TensorFlow Lite Edge TPU Models, will provide instructions on how to do so. Now that the Edge TPU file is in the model folder, everything's ready to go. Let's test out the Coral's ultra-fast detection speed. Plug your Coral USB accelerator into a USB port on the Raspberry Pi. If you're using a Pi 4, make sure to plug it into one of the blue USB 3.0 ports to take advantage of the extra data bandwidth. Also, make sure you have a webcam plugged in. Then, free up memory by closing any programs that you aren't using. Run the real-time webcam detection script by issuing python3 tflight detection webcam.py dash dash model deer equals sample tflight model, then add a dash dash edge tpu. The edge tpu argument tells the script to use the Coral USB accelerator. Once it initializes, a window will appear with the webcam feed and results drawn on each frame. So as you can see, detection results run way faster with the accelerator. You can press Q to quit the program. You can also use the image and video detection scripts with the accelerator. For example, I'll run the TF Lite detection video script and tell it to use my custom bird squirrel raccoon model on a video of birds at a bird feeder. I'll add the edge TPU argument to tell it to use the accelerator to speed up detection. The accelerator runs fast enough to perform detection on videos at a real-time playback speed. As a side note, you can see that my bird detection model isn't very accurate here. I can make it more accurate by adding more images to the training set that have a similar visual condition to what we're seeing in the video, and then retraining it. Anyway, at the end of the video, the program will close. If you get errors when trying to run any of these scripts, be sure to check my GitHub page for common errors and their solutions. The super fast speeds of the USB accelerator allow the Raspberry Pi to run programs that can react in real time to detected objects. This is perfect for applications like a vehicle backup camera that sounds an alert if a person or vehicle is detected behind the car. I'll be putting out more videos and code showing how to use TensorFlow detection results to make cool applications like a traffic counter or a smart alarm system. Keep an eye on my channel if you want to see more examples of how to put TensorFlow to use. If you want to train a custom TensorFlow Lite object detection model, check out my guide on GitHub that works through the process step by step. I'll also be working on videos that go along with the written guide, so stay tuned. Good luck with your projects. As always, thank you for watching and stay safe out there.